So a couple weeks ago, I came across an article on Reddit about a boot camp graduate who spent six months after graduating their boot camp applying for jobs. She applied for almost 400 jobs and interviewed for 40 different roles. And I want to talk about this because there's a lot of people who think that attending a coding boot camp is going to be their golden ticket into a software development job. In many of my videos, I try to tell people that that's often not the case. And even college graduates with a four year degree often have the leak code grind and go through all the same stuff the self-taught developers have to go through or boot camp graduates have to go through. In the article, she says, I was pretty naive. I thought I'd have a job after a month because Hack Reactor has such a good reputation. But then one month turned into two months and then three and four. And I started thinking, oh my God, why am I not getting a job? What's wrong with me? And I mentioned this because in my video, boot camps are out of control, where I talk about all these different boot camps that are popping up out of the woodwork and telling people that they can get them a job as a developer with a short, you know, nine week course or 13 week course or however long it may be. I got a lot of comments on that video where people mention how they want to go to boot camp so they can network with people and they can get a shoe in for their first job. And this person here is a good example of why that may not always be the case. Now, I do wanna say a few things that I noticed when I was reading through this article. In this article, it says that they applied the jobs from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for six months straight with 357 rejections. And six months is about 183 days. That's about two job applications a day on average which isn't too crazy when you think about it because I remember when I was applying for jobs, I was applying for at least one or two jobs a day and I didn't need to apply for this many jobs back when I got my first job and I ended up going through a recruiter. This person also went through recruiters as well and applied for jobs on her own. Now, something that I noticed in the article, which obviously this isn't gonna cover all the details, it said that she created a portfolio and then she went on the job hunt. I don't know if she was leak code grinding every day while she was applying for jobs. I don't know if she was building projects to try to build up her portfolio while she was applying for jobs, or if she was just applying for jobs with the hopes that a boot camp certificate would get her in the door. So it's hard for me to really know the specifics of her situation, but 357 rejections is pretty hard and she interviewed with a total of 40 different employers and finally she got two job offers just so many boot camps that swear up and down that they're gonna get you hired by just attending their course. Hack Reactor is a pretty popular boot camp, and their 13 week program cost $18,000. Now you would think if you paid that much money to get an accelerated program that's gonna get you job ready and sell you the dream of job placement you would think that it wouldn't take you six months after graduating to get a job when you pay that much money. And I'm always gonna recommend self-taught first because a lot of these boot camps are honestly a big cash grab and they just wanna make money off of you. So just remember that they're in the business of making money. They're not in the business of getting you a job. I looked everywhere to find out Hack Reactor's income shared agreement duration and to see how long it would take to get deferred and I couldn't find anything on the internet. I searched Reddit, I searched all over the place and there was just nothing. I do know boot camps like Land the School have a five year income shared agreement and while I was looking to see how long the duration was for Hack Reactor, I found that other boot camps like General Assembly and Full Stack Academy have a duration of eight years on their income shared agreement. Just imagine graduating a boot camp, not being able to get a job, spending all that time learning on your free time in order to self teach because the boot camp wasn't enough to get you hired, and then a few years later you finally get a job and then you still have to pay that boot camp back. With these boot camps and their income shared agreements, it's like making a deal with the devil. So just read that fine print before you decide to sign on that dotted line. And I don't wanna discourage anyone who's in a boot camp right now because honestly, if I was in a boot camp and I saw this article, I would be extremely discouraged. But I do wanna say that if you're attending a boot camp, don't slack off and think that just getting that certificate is gonna do the trick. Remember, you're gonna to have to spend a lot of extra time building projects, working on your portfolio, learning data structures and algorithms, and networking. Just take those things into consideration and know that there is no easy way into getting a software development job. It's totally possible. This person is proof that you can get a job, but man, 357 rejections, 40 interviews, and then finally land the job six months after paying $18,000 at a boot camp. I'm not saying that boot camps are worthless, but I do think that they're overpriced and I do think that they're not as great as they try to make themselves out to be. There's a reason why they pump so much money into marketing. If they were so good, they wouldn't need to advertise. And I know that I had a lot of smart ass remarks when I said something like that before, but that's the honest truth. And 
now that they're online and you don't really get that in-person mentorship and you don't get that in-person networking, it's even worse. And I remember one comment that stood out to me on one of my boot camp videos was that someone was like, I want to go to a boot camp so I can network with people and I can get a job in Silicon Valley. And I thought to myself, man, are, are boot camps trying to sell people this idea or are people that really that naive? And I think it's a combination of both because boot camps always advertise their best graduate and their best case scenario of the person who graduates and makes $150,000 a year and lands a job in Silicon Valley. So then people think that that's going to happen to them. And the truth is that that's not usually the case. Most of the time, software developers, even college graduates, their first job doesn't pay six figures. I mean, some of them might, and especially if you're somewhere that has a high cost of living, they kind of have to pay you that much just to get people to apply because if you're going to San Francisco or Seattle, you can't really live on less than a hundred grand a year. So entry level jobs in those places will pay closer to six figures. But for the most part, if you're just in like middle America or in an average cost of living area, your first job is more than likely going to pay you around like 60 to 70,000. That'd probably be a good range. And that's not bad. That's good money. But that pipe dream that these boot camps try to sell you of a six figure job in 13 weeks or nine weeks or whatever period of time they try to advertise isn't usually the case. And this just stood out to me and I just wanted to make a video on it because I feel that stuff like this needs to be talked about and people who are interested in learning how to code or interested in going to a boot camp should be more informed on how difficult it can be to attain a job. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm living proof that you can do it self-taught. I know many boot camp graduates who landed jobs. I worked with a boot camp graduate at my first job, so I know that it's possible. Even if you have a college degree, even if you graduate from a boot camp, even if you self-teach for a year or two, it's still hard to get a job, especially that first job. So just remember that. I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. I just kinda wanted to share this. I know I'm not making a lot of coding content lately and some people have been asking for stuff. So when I see something like this that sticks out to me and I wanna make a video on it, I will. If it was helpful, make sure you hit that like button and drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.